What's up, everyone? I'm Stephen Harold, Tiny House Listings, and we are out here at Mountain Haven Tiny House Village, which is a beautiful wooded and uh, open tiny house community just outside Floyd, Virginia, which is a really cool area. A lot of people know this area um, because there are a lot of festivals, a lot of local music and talent, breweries, wineries, lots of stuff to do here in the area. So I just want to kind of quickly show you some things we're up to here at the community. We have lots of people moving in and we're doing a lot of improvements. Here we are at what used to be the bathhouse. It means a lot of work, but we're gonna be turning this into a community center, full renovation. And uh, when you go to the back back there, you can see there's a pavilion. And the cool thing about that is in the summer months and the nicer months, we're actually gonna bring local bands from the area, local music talent, and perform everyone here, for everyone here who lives here. Um, you can see there's the cool thing about this community. It's not like a lot of tiny house communities you see where there's just a flat open field that they've pretty much mowed down the trees and kind of, stuck some homes in there this is very very sloped it's on the side of a mountain so there's different varying levels of homes you can see over there we've already brought quite a few tiny homes in i think there's five and uh, when it's all said and done for phase one we're going to have about 14 to 16 tiny homes here and then in the future there'll be more tiny homes in different areas of the community so the backstory on this uh community is it used to be an rv campground uh it was uh, started way back in the 70s and uh, over the years there wasn't a whole lot of maintenance done to the area, to the property. Um, so we're coming through and a lot of years of neglect and making everything beautiful and pretty. Um, but there's still some really good attributes that even the way it sets currently is that there's like huge, beautiful open fields. It's actually in June right now, well into June, and it's only about 72, 73 degrees here. So it doesn't get super hot. I'm sure it will get into the 80s at some point in the summer. Uh, but we're about 3,100 feet up, which is very nice because... Um, you get snow here in the winter, so if you're someone who likes snow, that's great. And the summers are nice and cool. Uh, Tiny Listings is based out of Wilmington, North Carolina, and it's getting into the mid-90s today. So uh, you can see we got a couple cabins here. And the guys who came here from uh, our build team have actually been staying in these, which is cool. The, the thing about it is there's no running water. So what we're going to do is we're going to add... These will be for rent later on, so we're going to completely renovate these. We'll put a little bump out on the back, and there'll be a shower there. So these will be available for full-time rent. Um, and we'll put a kitchenette in there, bringing water to it, all that. So this will be full-on homes that you can rent in the future, probably in 2025. Big, huge up and field here. In the future, we may add tiny homes here. Not sure, but for now, you can come out here, have a little picnic either in the shade or out in the sun. If you need to lay out and get a little sun, there's Piper. <laughs> he loves it out here. Uh, but yeah, this is one big open field here. This used to be an open tent camping spot. So people could just bring their tents out here and pay a small fee to tent camp. Uh, but that obviously isn't what we're doing now. This tiny house community to be exclusively for residents. Way since back in the day, way since like 2009 when I first got involved with tiny houses, this has always been my dream to have a community where people could come, hang out with other like-minded people and just feel like they're part of a community. And the common theme is the tiny houses, right? So. All the people who, even though they're different walks of life, have different beliefs or whatever, the cool things that can bind everyone together here is that they understand the principles of living tiny and, you know, focusing on uh, ev events and experiences versus like belongings and possessions. So now we've come to the next field. This used to be another tent camping spot as well. And I believe small RVs were able to come in this field as well. Uh, this will definitely be the home of some future tiny homes. You can see there's already electric here. We're gonna be upgrading that electric, bringing in water, bringing in sewer. That's the previous field down through the way there that I showed you before. And lots of pretty things to see out here. Birds are chirping. There's a lot of little tiny chipmunks that run around here, which I'm not used to. There's also groundhogs. I'm also not used to that from where I live down at the beach, but uh, really pretty. You can see there's cool trees growing here. They look like I guess conifers don't hold me to that maybe you can let me know it in the comments below lots of dandelions these fields do get mowed so these were mowed about two weeks ago and you can see already they've grown up so we'll have someone else coming through to mow them very soon and now we're going to head down to the pond area which is great for fishing um, the guys who are here with us have said they've seen lots of bass in here i've been told there's perch as well and also catfish I haven't seen a perch and I haven't seen a catfish, but I have seen some bass swimming around in here. So if you're a fishing person, this might be good. We'd ask just you catch and release. Um, 
The water's a little low right now, but after it rains, it actually builds up really quick. The whole uh, lake here is very, um, it looks like it's stagnant, but it's actually not. There's a lot of minerals in the water. Um, but this is all spring fed lake. And in the very near future, the goal is to, as you come in from over here, as you're coming down from the hill, we're gonna build a little dock that goes out here into the water. And that way you can kind of just sit out there. So on the days where it's not too warm, you can go out there with your friends and maybe have a drink and talk about the beauty of living tiny. <laughs> Uh, but we're going to make this to where all this will be leveled out and, and mowed and everything. And so you'll be able to walk around here. You could do laps, get your steps in, whatever it is that you fancy. But as you look up here, you can see the water kind of trickling in a little bit. So what happens is if you look up the way, right up there, it's kind of hard to see because everything's growing up a little bit. Uh, but right there, Piper's drinking it as we speak uh you, the water comes down out of the ground so it's this whole lake is spring fed so now we'll head back up to the actual community part the vision behind this community is for people who love mountain settings um and there is a big difference between here and like for example where i live in Wilmington, north carolina the air is cleaner it feels cleaner the water's cleaner the air is drier and um just a different type of living a lot slower pace while we're walking back up, I thought I would tell you, you know, a lot of people who have already committed to live here, almost everyone is not from this area. Uh, people are moving from different areas. And one thing I've heard is that where they live now is just too crowded or too loud or just too fast paced. And that's the reason this area is very appealing to them. And that was when I bought the place, that was definitely the same for me. I felt uh, where we live, where I currently live and everything, it's just nice to get away. It's nice to have a little escape. And um, so whether you're someone who's an empty nester, whether you are a snowbird and you want to come here, live here, you know, have your home here, but also just stay here for a few months out of the year if you want to live here full time. If you're a telecommuter, this would be a great place to live because we have high speed fiber optic internet here. Um, and then just overall, there's a lot of room to roam in this area. There's national, there's uh, state parks where it's beautiful, beautiful hiking. There's actually one called Buffalo mountain reserve i believe it is and when you get to the top you can see five different states so it's really beautiful there's a lot to do around here whitewater rafting and canoeing and hiking and a lot of outdoor stuff now we're getting a little bit farther up the hill we've mentioned this on social media before but somewhere in this area not for sure we are going to do a dog park uh because that's definitely a common theme almost everyone has a dog who lives here nice little companion uh so you could definitely have a dog park somewhere over here where it's not sure so that way dogs can kind of roam. But uh, you can see we have a lot of raised beds here that need a lot of attention. So we're gonna definitely do that. We're gonna make these look beautiful. And um, maybe here, we're not sure we're gonna do a greenhouse. So that'll be really cool. Um, Cause this gets a lot of sun. So even in the winter time, I think you could still grow some stuff in here. And uh, that's another theme. I think a lot of people have a green thumb who live in the tiny house who are interested in tiny house living. This is our berry cage. <laughs> we have, uh, they, the people who used to own this planted this and um, they did that obviously, they put the cage around it so the birds won't come and eat all the berries, but I have been gorging myself on blueberries for the past few weeks and every day there's more and more. You can see there's a lot that aren't ready, but there's a lot that are ready too, which is nice. I've been eating about a pound of these per day. So if you're part of the community, of course you can do the sell the same for yourself, but we also have raspberries and blackberries in here as well. You can see the blackberries there that still have a ways to go. Lots of berries in here. So this is the entrance coming from the road to the tiny house community. You can see there, we already have tiny homes. It's funny, we brought this tiny house to the community to sell or to have someone live in and as soon as we did, someone who lives just outside of Asheville wanted to buy it. So that one's actually going to be moving in the next week or so. Um, but this used to be the camp store. And we are fully renovating it. So this will be the home of someone who actually doesn't want to buy a tiny house, but wants to rent one and live here. Sorry for all the construction debris. But you get inside. Gabe has been building a uh, little box here. We're going to put the internet in there where the Wi-Fi and everything goes. You come in, you can see a beautiful, this used to be the camp store. So this was where 
you know, if you checked in at the RV park, you would actually come in here and pay and stuff like that. So this will be a studio apartment. So if you're interested, just email us at steven at tinymountainhaven.com. But this island will be here in the middle. This will be the bed over here. We'll have a wall there. You can see full kitchen. This will be TV hanging on this wall, couch. You see the bathroom's very much on the way. So anyways, yeah, this used to be the camp store. It was funny when we moved, when I bought the place, there was all kinds of receipts from the 70s. It's an old cash register that they used up until recently, you can see right here. And uh, this is a cabin right here, 12 by 12, that's well under the way. And this will be a, um, another place that people can actually live in. This will be a full-time residence. It'll have a shower, kitchen, kitchenette. There's Gabe working, making it happen. Oh, this is well on the way. I'll take you on a walk behind Gabe, you can see. There's, there's Jeff. So this will be a full on uh, cabin as well. So yeah, this is the main area of the Chinese community. This part is wooded, which is very nice. I mean, and then in the winter time, all the leaves fall, so you'll still get sun. Uh, so you're, in the summer, when you need the shade, you have it. in the winter time, when you need the sun, you'll have it. So yeah, there's that cabin. You can see construction zone full on. <laughs> and we have a 20 foot lad up here. Uh, this one actually is not purchased yet at the time of this filming. Uh, the cool thing about this spot is you're kind of turned away from everyone and you could, we're gonna put a little deck here, chill out area if you want, but you're perched a little bit higher. Um, yeah, or if you wanna buy another tiny house and put it on this spot, we'll move this one around for you. Um, but this one's kind of cool. And so then this whole area goes all the way around and this will be phase two. This will be next year where, cause all of these spots have electric and they have water, but there's no sewer. So what used to happen was RVs would come in here for a few days at a time and they have holding tanks, right? So they didn't need a sewer. They, on the way out, they could, you know, um, empty their tanks. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna have to do a lot of digging to bring septic into this place. But when they're ready, 2025, we'll definitely let you know. So there'll be more space available for people. But I love these spots over here because when you're up high like this, you're kind of looking down over the pavilion and this will be, so when we have a band, you'll literally be able to sit here and see the band playing <laughs> in the summertime. And then there's the community center and we'll probably have a little walkway down here. So if you're living in this spot, there's actually two spots here. You'll be able to walk down to the community center pavilion right through the woods. And again, this wraps all the way around. And the cool thing about this is if you have your dog, or if you're just one of those people who likes to walk, you can get a lot of steps around, walking around this whole entire community. And uh, this part is just basically wooded. So it's nice and cool here. And again, this is late June and there's uh, not super hot. And then when you kind of come around, there's a few more spots here. Again, these don't have septic, so they're not available to live in just yet. But in 2025, they will be. But you can see this used to be more like a family RV park and um, kids are absolutely allowed to live here. And um, but we just haven't seen any interest for that yet. Mostly single or couples, but there used to be a, well, there still is a playground here. I'm not sure we're gonna keep that, but um, this is the pavilion area. And uh, we got horseshoes here. <laughs> I'm not sure we're gonna keep that. Definitely put some cornhole out here, uh, but this will be a really cool place to uh, have gatherings. So if you have family come into town or just people who live here who want to hang out, will be amazing because uh, you'll be able to cook. We're going to have a whole, there's an old grill area and stuff over there. Now we're removing all that and putting new stuff in. So you'll be able to come out here and grill. So this is kind of the end of the loop. We just came back from, we started over there and went all the way around and kind of came back around. Um, so now you're kind of going back up. If you take a left, you'll go back up to the... Uh, where the camp store used to be in the tiny homes. And if you take a right back over this way, that'll take you back over to the pond. Um, so when you move in, again, you don't really have anything to worry about. Uh, all of the zoning restrictions have been taken care of, everything. And if you buy um, a tiny house that isn't, we haven't brought here yet, because um, this, this tiny house community is exclusive to homes built by tiny house listings. But if there's one that isn't already here for sale, we can actually bring it up for you. The, the way that process works is we haul it from our facility in Wilmington, North Carolina, bring it here, set it up. If you want a deck, we'll build that for you. If you want just a set of stairs, we'll build that for you. It depends on 
whatever it is you want. But by the time you move here, your tiny house will be here. It'll be set up and you'll have the keys. So you basically, it's just plug and play. You bring your furniture. All right, so that concludes the tour and the vision and what we're up to for uh, Mountain Haven. Tiny House Village is just outside of Floyd, Virginia. And if you're interested and you wanna learn more, if you even wanna apply, because uh, we do background checks on everyone, we wanna make sure it's a safe community. Uh, you go to tinymountainhaven.com and you can learn more information about what's here. Uh, maybe there's some stuff on the website that goes beyond the things I've mentioned. But yeah, if you're interested in moving to the mountains of Virginia, this could be the perfect place for you, whether it's now or in the future. All right, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.